maybe so we can just change the language. Other than saying, you know, I, I don't know, we're adults. I don't know, like, we're examples. Exactly. Yeah. Like, we're examples. So, I don't know, that's, that's interesting. Um, but that's up to the teacher, though. That's the main person who has to say. Like, yeah. if the teacher wants her class to be as ghetto as an outcast song, <laughs> That's, that's the teacher's choice. Some teachers care about professionalism and some don't. True. And sometimes you just gotta sit in that class and be like, 13 more weeks, 13 more weeks, 13 yeah. more weeks. Yeah, so it's, it's interesting that you bring it up because it's like, as a teacher, we can control that to some degree. As a student, it's like, I don't know, you just have to- You're on for the ride. Yeah, you, you have to, and so, and, and, and that's a, that's, so it, there's two dependencies, or they're just both players, student and teachers. If you want to, or even just adult and adult, right? Because they don't have to be just in like just a classroom area. Yeah. But there's a difference between a professional adult and an unprofessional adult, and piggybacking off your teacher thing. A teacher has the most control of their class. A teacher can kick a student out faster than Beyonce can kick out a Destiny's Child member. I'm serious. I'm serious. It's on a roll. Getting it tonight. No, he said some good stuff though. I really enjoyed what you said. I know that. That's why I said it. Yeah. That's a good point, man. Yeah. It's yeah. It's there's a dependency. Um, teachers' dependency. In a Christian teacher, dependency on God is it 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 increased so much because you rocking God in the spirit and yeah you rocking God in the spirit so it's like all your action is wanting to look like Christ so so you 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 wanting to display that truth. But also that grace, like at the same time, um, and so, what um, being mindful of everybody, like it'd be interesting to say that you know the whole class is part of the body, but yet the whole class isn't a part of the necessarily a part of the body. And so it's like okay, well, um, but you have to treat everybody like equally, treat everybody fair, love everybody, and. Like, is understanding that God loves everybody that way, um, just and unjust. As a teacher, you have to do that with your, you have to do that with your um, students. So in a way, you just have to accept everybody for what they will bring. But that doesn't mean that you have to accept everything into your class. But, you know, on the contrary, a student, you know, it's like, um, a, a student, in a way, has to be able to, some some degree bear all things yeah. like bear all things and, and that's where they will have to have a, a greater dependency on the Lord too just to be able to bear all things to some degree um, it, it, it doesn't mean that they have to digest everything but just to bear all things um, and like just to like I've been learning how to pray more about Lord you know Jesus, you said you you send the comforter, right? Send me the comforter. Send me the comforter. So when it when it feels like I can't bear, right? Hold me up right now until you build me back up, and then uh, let me go into round two, round three, round four, round five. And so um, um, in dealing with these situations where we are put into places where it's like. Mm, Conviction, conviction, I'm feeling it all, like, oh, man, like, I'm stressing, like, my eyes are, like, just burning, and just, like, because of this, you being in a place that doesn't gel with you, doesn't bump with you, um, just, just, you know, okay, Lord, like, it's trust, too, especially coming from us, like, trust, and, like, if we hold up the fortress or hold up our fortress and say, you know what, there's peace with me, uh, shalom with me during this situation. And then we could definitely be inspirational to individuals who are, are trying to find peace in this situation as well. 
Yeah. Um. Also, though, you have to take into account too. Like, the Bible talks about counting the costs. You know what I mean? Like, you count the costs before you build the building. You don't just start like, oh man, I want to build this building, and then just try to get some wood wherever you can get. Then hire who you can ever hire. No, he's like, okay, if I'm building this building this tall, then I'm gonna need this much amount of wood, mm -hmm. this amount of people. This, you know, you get your amounts straight. I'm saying that for you. Like, wait, where are you going with this, Trent? <laughs> I'm saying that for this is a New Mexico State University. This is not a Christian school. You know what I mean? So, so what? seems taboo to the Bible, they might not care because this is not a Christian school. It's a secular school, you know. And sometimes, I think that's, sometimes we have to be aware of that, you know what I mean? You can't get all mad, oh man, this dude talking about God like that. At the same time, it's like, it's not a Christian school, you know what I mean? If it was, then that would be different. Then that dude is in the wrong because in the, our school context, in the content of the school, we're about God. Mm -hmm. And you can't just diss God. That's stupid, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But in this school's content, it's just about, you know, I don't know what the school content is about. <laughs> you know, personally. The school don't know what it's about. <laughs> Man, even the school songs that we're drinking on the weekend, even if we win or lose, so that should tell you no. <laughs> so, but at the end of the day, though, we have to sometimes like, understand that, like, if you really want an atmosphere that you don't feel like your faith will be challenged, then go to a Christian school. Yeah, yeah. God, God gave us, you know, the tools for that. Now we have that kind of tool in this blessed nation, you know. Yeah. So we can go to a Christian school. Um, me personally, you know, going to a second school, I don't feel like it's challenging my faith. Matter of fact, I feel like. Well, because it challenges my faith, it makes me a stronger yeah. Christian because, you know, the Bible says, you know, uh, not to be out of the world, but we're in it, but we're not of okay. it. You know what I mean? So I can't, I can't always discredit the world because the, the Bible clearly says, Jesus clearly says, we're in it. Mm -hmm. I can't discredit what I'm in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God put me here. What am I going to do? Yeah. God, I know you see burn the earth down. <laughs> I'm like, what, 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 what can I do? Well, God said, I'm here. Now I do what I can. That's simply as that. Like, I do what I can. And then if they say no, then they say no. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's on them. But I feel like sometimes we have to be aware of that, you know. Be aware of our TV station. We get mad of what's on. The it's like, it's the world. Yeah. <laughs> you know, get, you get mad at the government. It's like... What you want from them? <laughs> like they're not—they're not really believers. Yeah, they say it. Mm -hmm. I mean, plus, but if they say it, then yeah, they are held to a standard. So I won't just dis discredit that. But at the same time, we gotta realize, you know, we can't get so heated about the world things because they do worldly things. Yeah. That's why Jesus came in the first place. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why Jesus came. Amen, bro. Amen.